So we are back and I just want to have a little bit of a quick explanation before this video kicks off into some more fun things. I just want to let you know why I haven't been around the last couple of weeks properly uploading. Now it's been a couple of weeks so I'm okay to talk about this but sadly um, my grandfather Pops passed away and he was a huge part of my life. I grew up with the man, he was 99 years old and if you follow me on Instagram or if you follow me on here you will have seen him yourself, especially on Instagram stories. A lot of you guys got to know him. We used to go out for our beer on Sundays and used to take him out and he, he passed away and it was all naturally went peacefully. He was just woke up, said good morning love one morning and um, and then just closed his eyes and was gone. The really sad part of it was I was meant to take him out to lunch the next day and it kind of kicked my ass knowing that that maybe I'd missed my final time of seeing him and all these emotions and feelings and just to be honest my head has just been completely elsewhere and dealing with this and I still haven't really dealt with it properly I don't think it's really hit me yet but I've been with my family and making sure everyone is okay and we're just moving on I'm trying to think of the happy memories and the happy times because I don't have a single bad memory of this man he was such a wonderful impact on my life and made me a lot of who I am today so that's just a little reason I don't want to go too deeply into it I don't want to upset people I don't want to be, make people sad I've been away long enough I've had my time to deal with it and I don't need to be putting that onto you but I do want to say for all of you who followed me on Instagram through times I did put up a couple of posts about him just to celebrate his life Thank you so, so, so much. I got literally thousands and thousands of messages. I tried to reply to some of the, the longer, more heartfelt ones. For some of you who suffered the same thing recently, I tried to reply to you guys so that we could share and maybe have that little moment of helping each other get through. And I, I feel we did that, but you did that so much for me. It was, it was amazing. So thank you very, very much. I'm looking forward. I'm like, this man that celebrates his life, let's not, let's not forget about it. Let's think of all the things he's given me and all these opportunities that I have because of who he made me and what he created. So I'm looking forward. So I'm going to show you some fun things in this video as to what happened just prior to that, things that I'd already filmed. One was the new car. And so you, you check that out in a second and then you can let me know what you think or come back to the end of the video. Also, I'm going to go through my brand new training regime that I'm going to be following from now on because we're moving forward and we're thinking about the future boxing, fighting and all that. It is going on and I actually had a fight set and ready to go. It just turns out it's the exact same weekend as the Gymshark Manchester pop-up store. So I've had to pull out of it and I'm gonna have to rearrange another fight and I had that all arranged for you guys. But that is still going on. I am still aiming towards that YouTube boxing event if it ever comes back. KSI, Logan, come on, come on. So in this video, you're now gonna see the new car. Then we're going to take a look at the new training. It will all be in the description as well for you to check out. I want you to join me on this journey. Got back to the old school. We're going to be doing physique updates, weigh-ins, training, techniques, plus some lifestyle food and things like that, as well as a lot of fun new projects that are coming our way that involve a lot of cars, bikes, and travel. So enjoy the rest of the video. And once again, crew, thank you so, so much for helping me through what was essentially a really shitty time. I appreciate you. Wow. Uh. I'd just like to point out, look how close Lainey has parked to my car. There is no freaking way she did that deliberately. No chance. I'm in my element. Money getting bigger, that's the evidence. They want to see me fall, I promise you I never slip. I'm on the grind, do it for the dead presidents. Dead presidents. I'm in my element. Money getting bigger, that's the evidence. They want to see me fall, I promise you I never slip. I'm on the grind, do it for the dead presidents. Dead presidents. So yes, we do have a BMW i8 on the drive, and I gotta say, it is a lot of fun. First things, let's just do the cool, cool gimmick thing that they have. Ooh! <laughs> Listen, if you're a big kid like me, that, that alone, that makes you smile. It's pretty cool, but obviously you can see it's also a soft top. So this is a roadster version. England. Pointless. I don't know if this is a supercar. It's definitely a super-ish car, but if you don't know what they are, basically they're run by a 1.5 turbocharged petrol engine for the rear wheels, then the front wheels are powered by electric motors, so it's technically a four-wheel drive. So combined anyway, it's like 360 brake horsepower or something like that. This is a 2018 model. I've had this for a few days now, and it is bloody good fun. Now, I've always said, 
Like cars, I have bikes for going fast. So I don't mean that bad bother with cars. Obviously you've all seen previous girl. She's still here. This is my 4 Series M Sport BMW. So I do love the BMWs. She's getting sold by the way. And so I thought, let's do something a bit silly. Let's do something a little bit crazy and get something a bit fun. Now inside the cabin. Ooh. So what we have in here is a full on electric mode startup so listen to this so inside here here you go you got a bmw i thing we hit the start button and listen to the noise Ooh. oh no not you Shh. <laughs> oh come on now that's pretty cool that's pretty cool i like that downside to this is you can't really rev this car because through the first part of you putting your foot down it's using the electric um so there are a few little weird things see it does sound really good but very hard to show you that inside they're not the craziest things you've got the sports box so you've got drive and then that flicks down and then flicks over into sport we've got all our nav which is kind of voice activating and stuff like that it's got everything you need and that looks pretty cool if we flip that over into sport Ooh. the petrol engines kicked in can you hear that I don't know if we can rev it. Oh, a little bit. I don't know if he's supposed to do that. That doesn't sound happy. I'll stop doing that. The key for this thing's pretty cool as well. You hit this, brings up a nice little slide screen, check the percentage of the car's battery, set its precondition before you get in, like so it's all nice and toasty warm or cool. Lock it, close it. Loads of stuff, loads of stuff. So I had the car for a few days now and we've done a couple of fun things. One was, let's play with some meerkats. Oh, that's a big chicken. I've heard that they go straight to the yep. face. Yes, we come in peace. We come in peace. Yeah. My grape is better than her grape. Look at her little face. <laughs> this is the best thing ever. <laughs> wow. Baby deer, so I so okay. so insects. Um, the baby deer is kind of similar size to him, really. Yeah. Steve, 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 Steve. Yep, some people go out driving around like crazy. Me, I drive to a farm full of animals and play with some meerkats and big cats and lemurs. The weather has been crap, but I thought what we could do today, play with the launch control. And for that, I need a willing participant who has never been in something that quick, has never dealt with launch control, doesn't even probably know what launch control is. The little person. The, the parking queen. Yeah, already videoed that. <laughs> okay, so we have to go and drive six miles and then we can use launch control. Start. I'm gonna hold this, see what that does. Traction control, right? Ah, there we go. DCS off. Clack it into sports mode. Left foot on the brake. Three, two, one. Eight, 20, 34, 40, 50, 60, no, that's 60. Control tested, it works. That was fun. 
So yes, there you go. That is the car currently sat on the drive, but I still have a week to decide whether I'm going to sign on that dotted line because when you're spending a lot of money on a car and things like that, you get a chance to sit with it, drive it around and see if it's something you definitely want to purchase and can live with. This will be my day to day car. So my only other, my only ta torn thing with this is I really, I'm just not entirely sold on the fact that there's a lot of that electric side of things where you, you don't get to hear the engine from the starting up, you can't really rev it, you have to plug it in in the evening and the charging systems here, we don't have them like as a speed, speed charger here so it takes like six hours to charge the bloody thing in. Then the only downsides are the car's beautiful drive, really fun, does look like it's a spaceship, but there is a V6 of the Jaguar F-Type which just keeps in the back of my mind. What do you think? Let me know what you think. Do you think the i8 is worth it? Do we just go, fuck yes, great car, or, or, or am I missing something? Is there something I'm missing out here I should be looking at? Let me know in the comments section below. So that's the car part, let's move on. I told you we're gonna be talking about the training. Now this is gonna be broken down really simply now for you. It's gonna be in the description as well, broken down day to day for you is how I would break it through the week. And I just want to cover it in a small portion here, and then we're gonna go into it in depth in the videos coming after these ones, which will now be regular, because I'm back, head is back on track, we get the body back on track in the mind. Also, there's going to be some new fight series coming your way, which is going to be a little bit different. I have incorporated the help of some professional MMA fighters who are going to take the knowledge that we learn in the dojo, the knowledge that we learn in the ring, and we're going to put it into real life situations where it could help you to avoid certain confrontational outcomes and help you be safer. We're going to do an entire series showing you how to do all that cool shit. And yes, it might be titled something about bar fights. But we're not encouraging them. Ting! Idea for new training for you guys. And this is how I am setting up my weeks from this point onward. We're going to stick with our high frequency training, meaning we're training everything at least twice a week. You're going to train everything once, then train it again within a 72 hour period. You're going to do three body parts per session. Not one, not two, three. But you're only going to do two exercises per body part. This is where it gets important. Your first exercise is going to be a compound movement. Standard gym compound movement, strict form, good focus on muscle squeeze, and obviously progressive weight. The secondary exercise, which would normally be in isolation, you're going to make this functional. So wherever is possible, you're going to add as much range of movement into the exercise as you can focusing on the muscle of your choice. For a quick example, if you're gonna do shoulders, say you've just done standing military press as your compound, and you wanna finish on some laterals, instead of just standing there and doing a lateral raise like this, what you would be doing is, you'd say, come up for a lateral and then swing straight through to a hammer grip front raise, creating that more range of motion, a little bit more functional. Or you would take a kettlebell, grip it, turn it upside down, so the handle's here, kettlebell's here, Standing, single arms, ribs down and press up. Great for that shoulder building and also functional movement. Five sets on everything. So you think, damn, I'm doing two exercises per body part? Yes, but you're going to be training at least each body part twice a week. So that means that you're doing a total of 20 sets over the week, which would be way more than the usual thing where people just do four exercises of four sets. So you actually end up stimulating the muscle more, you end up doing more volume on it, and hopefully, hopefully you're gonna get less injuries and more growth from this style of training. I will be going on with specific exercises week to week with these videos so you can start to build your own exercise programs from it. Check out my Instagram, there's already workouts on there as well for you to be able to draw exercises from. So there you have it. That's my updates, that's where we're at in life at the moment. We are back on track, we're back on YouTube, Instagram is still been going strong, so stay on there because it's so much easier to get things uploaded and thrown on there faster than up on here, but our focus is back, 50-50, we're back, thank you all for the love, it's been amazing, I can't thank you all enough, get ready for the bar fight videos, I mean safety demonstrations. <laughs> Lately I've been doing shit different Cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen Had to make a move, had to make a little distance A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision Fuck that, tell them bounce